in the previous video mm -hmm. we derived uh, the state table that uh, is shown on the screen here right and what I want to do today uh, in this video is draw a state diagram corresponding uh, to this table. So a state diagram basically enumerates all the possible states that your circuit can exist in. So let's do that. So let's draw the states. So the states that we have uh, are defined by x, uh, x equal to 0 y equal to 0 so that's going to be one of your states the other state is x equal to 1 y equal to sorry that's x equal to 0 y equal to 1 then you have x equal to 1 y equal to 0 and finally you have the state x equal to 1 y equal to 1 right so these are the four states that you have now uh, the input that you have is so you can have state transitions right so if you are going from the state zero zero where are you going to end up you are going to end up at state one one okay so for example you could say so you could draw the transition like this isn't it so you can say the transition goes like this you have a transition like this uh, and you can say this transition happens when a equal to 0 and it also happens when a equal to 1. But when a equal to 0, your output is b equal to 1 and when a equal to 1, your output is b equal to 0. And all this, I'm just uh, reading uh, this table from here, right? So if you have, if you are at 0, 0, you go to state 1, 1 in both the cases when a equal to 0 and a equal to 1 but your b changes if a is 0 b is 1 if a equal to 1 then b equal to 0 so i'm getting that from there okay so that's one of the state transitions now what happens when you are in state 0 1 when you are in state 0 1 you go to state 1 1 if a is 0 and you remain in this state if a equal to 1 so how do we draw that so you could draw something like this, can't you? So you could say you go to state 1, 1 when a equal to 0 and you remain in this state when a equal to 1. Now what are the outputs going to be corresponding to both these uh, states? So if a equal to 0, your output is going to be equal to b equal to 0. If a is 1, then b is also equal to 1. Okay. Similarly, you can talk about the transition from state 1, 0. So if you are going from state 1, 0, you have a transition like this if you have a equal to 0 and you have a tra transition to this state if you have a equal to 1. Okay. And uh, your outputs are b equal to 1 and b equal to 0. And then if you are at 1, 1, you can go to 1, 0. So this could be a state transition if a equal to 0. And corresponding to that, you have b equal to 0. And if you are at state 1, 1, and again, let's... Uh, so if you are at state 1, 1, and if a equal to 1, you go to a state of 0, 1. So you, you're basically going to this state right and your a is equal to 1 and you can see that your b is also equal to 1 and so that diagram kind of summarizes it it, it uh, okay I need to bring this a little bit down okay so hopefully, so this is the state diagram that we have for our uh, for the circuit that we have. So this tells you how you go from one state to the other, uh, uh, other and you you uh, transition and what are the outputs that you get for corresponding inputs and it kind of gives you all the information that you know uh, about uh, this circuit. Now what we are going to do in the next section of our uh, of, of this week is we'll start with a state diagram. We'll say 
well, this is the state diagram I want to achieve. And from there, we are going to make a state table. And then we'll make a truth table. And from there, we are going to make a circuit, a sequential circuit that implements that particular state diagram.